Wait for the Lord. Be strong. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. This morning's Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Joseph Felix on the 30th anniversary of his death. And also our prayer intention today are all the healthcare workers, all the doctors and nurses and other medical professionals who are working so hard at this time. Welcome once again to our Mass. Uh, I hope that you're sitting comfortably as we begin and that we all place ourselves in the presence of Almighty God. And as we begin, we ask forgiveness for all our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, perseverance in obeying your will, that in our days the people dedicated to your service may grow in both merit and number. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Israelites left Mount Hor by the road to the Sea of Soph to skirt the land of Edom. On the way, the people lost patience. They spoke against God and against Moses. Why did you bring us out of Egypt to die in this wilderness? For there is neither bread nor water here. We are sick of this unsatisfying food. At this, God sent fiery serpents among the people. Their bite brought death to many in Israel. The people came and said to Moses, We have sinned by speaking against the Lord and against you. Intercede for us with the Lord to save us from these serpents. Moses interceded for the people, and the Lord answered him, Make a fiery serpent and put it on a standard. If anyone is bitten and looks at it, he shall live. So Moses fashioned a bronze serpent, which he put on a standard, and if anyone was bitten by a serpent, he looked at the bronze serpent and lived. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. O Lord, listen to my prayer and let my cry for help reach you. O Lord, listen to my prayer and let my cry for help reach you. O Lord, listen to my prayer and let my cry for help reach you. Do not hide your face from me in my day of distress. Turn your ear towards me and answer me quickly when I call. O oh Lord, listen to my prayer and let my cry for help reach you. The nation shall fear the name of the Lord and all the earth's kings your glory. When the Lord shall build up Zion again and appear in all his instead of the helpless, he will not despise their prayers. O Lord, listen to my prayer and let my cry for help reach you. Let this be written for ages to come that a people yet unborn may praise the Lord. For the Lord leaned down from his sanctuary on high. He looked down from heaven to the earth, that he might hear the groans of the prisoners 
and free those condemned to die. O Lord, listen to my prayer and let my cry for help reach you. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Anyone who follows me will have the light of life. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I am going away. You will look for me, and you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. The Jews said to one another, Will he kill himself? Is that what he means by saying, Where I am going, you cannot come? Jesus went on, You are from below, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. I have told you already, you will die in your sins. Yes, if you do not believe that I am he, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus answered, What I have told you from the outset, about you I have much to say and much to condemn, but the one who sent me is truthful, and what I have learned from him I declare to the world. They failed to understand that he was talking to them about the Father. So Jesus said, When you lift, lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am he, and that I do nothing of myself. What the Father has taught me is what I preach. He who sent me is with me, and has not left me to myself, for I always do what pleases him. As he was saying this, many came to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, that being moved to compassion, you may both pardon our offences and direct our wavering hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and it is just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed, and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks. As an exaltation, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter unto my room. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Jesus, I believe that you are present in this holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I passionately desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my soul, so that I may unite myself wholly to you now and forever. When I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all to myself, says the Lord. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that ever seeking what is divine, we may always be worthy to approach these heavenly gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, all. Lovely to see you again out there. It's a crisp morning, I think we'd say. Crisp. It certainly is. <coughs> it's very cold in the church. Now, Angela, why are you holding all these tins? Now, I'm holding a few tins because I'm putting out an appeal to you all this morning. If you happen to be passing the church and you have got, or you are about to go shopping in the next few days, our food bank stocks are getting quite low. We are starting to deliver quite a few care packages now to people. So the sort of things that people are needing are things like tin soups, meals, like a complete meal that you can get in a can. You know, this is one I found that we've got left over. It's a, it's a chicken curry, a mild chicken curry. But there's things like Irish stew in, in a tin that people would only need to put some potatoes, some rice or some pasta with. And then I've got some tinned fruit because again, I'm slightly concerned that people are in a house and they're staying in for some time. They're running out of fresh fruit and veg now. So tins of fresh fruit, of tinned fruit and veg because I do worry about people's health as well as their spiritual health. So if you are passing and you've happened to have been into a supermarket, you've got some spare tinned soup or a meal in a tin, or fruit or vegetables, you know, like little potatoes or tinned carrots. If you could leave them on our house porch here at the parish, that would be absolutely wonderful, and we can start bagging them up again, because we are getting a little bit low now. And if you do come to the house today, you'll notice that the NHS are using our hall for the blood donors, at least we think they are. Yes. Um, so that's our little sort of way of helping the wider community by providing much needed blood. So do say a prayer for them if you if you see them. Do say a prayer for them. And until they turn up at about half past 11, I don't know how full their appointments are. If they are struggling to fill those appointments, I will put a message out on the WhatsApp group in case any of you would like to come along and donate. I don't know quite how that looks, how they do the social distancing and everything yet, but I can let you know later. So if you're a usual blood donor and you're in that, those usual categories that can donate, I'll put, a, I'll put a note out later if they've got lots of available slots. And don't forget our prayer intention today, um, rather neatly, is for all the healthcare workers, all the doctors, the nurses, the people working in our hall, um, everyone who's making a huge effort at this time. And you've seen those pictures on the news of that massive Nightingale Hospital being built on the other side of London. Um, amazing efforts are happening. And so we need to keep all these wonderful people in our prayers. And we're also remembering in that people like the nurses who are taking the blood. We don't forget that people are using the NHS for those usual things too. People are still having strokes. People are still having babies. 
people are still ending up in A&E after road accidents. So the NHS is doing double duty right now, and so we, we thank them for all they're doing and all those carers who are going in once, twice, three times a day to people's homes, keeping them well looked after and healthy. So today is for you. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. Um, do leave a comment if you haven't done so already about who you are and where you're watching from. Um, let's all keep each other in our prayers, especially at midday. Um, and that just re re leaves us to say it's a goodbye from me. And it's a goodbye from him. God bless. Bye-bye.